upper. No, yeah, now like I don't think he didn't build, quote unquote build a deck because he it only says seventy two cards. I think he was just looking for enchantments that he that looked interesting that you could play that were on a common level. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of stuff we can make a copy of this and just go through this stuff. And look, um, it's not really enchantress, but sort of. I mean, it seems pretty all good that to me. Glitter, all that glitters is a common. Actually, it was so good it got banned in actual pauper. So, because mm -hmm. cranial plating's banned, all that glitters is banned. Ethereal, ethereal armor is in there. Mm -hmm. Rancor seems kind of gross. There Shield is, of the there is a there is a bubbles deck, uh, for pauper. So it looks like these are some instants. I think this is all the protection stuff he was looking at. Indestructible. Yeah, indestructible stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if this was the stuff that he in particular had. Because mm -hmm. he did have a, a decent stack of cards. And so like, like the Dread Linhorn. I don't think that would be something he would normally run. Yeah, I don't see like this is the thing like I don't know what's good for Popper, you know. I've only well, played I mean, it. Was... I've only played it once, and I played a bullshit commander. What did you play? I played <laughs> Gretchen. <Digital. laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was joking. It's like, why don't we just make Tatiova Popper? <laughs> yeah, the... Gretchen. Tich... She is legal. Yeah. Tatiova is legal. Yeah, but mm -hmm. he, he want you. But yeah, so like I was... you could also just play Paragon Drake. As a commander, because it's been printed as an uncommon and a common, so it can oh, be played yeah, in really? your deck. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure. Gross. Yeah, look, look, right, uncommon, common. Oh, okay. Is that one of the Horizon decks, or, no, or is that the? Uh... And remember, ghostly flicker, and. Mnemonic wall, like there are mnemonic wall and like Archaeomancer effects in the format. Pike, Pike, uh, Pike said, said that. What, what, uh, what did he say? Paragon Drake. So I think we like because with like we also for Aromancer, like we actually have tutors for enchantments too and Helias Pilgrim. Yes, I just. Tat bitch. Oh, Tatiova. <laughs> oh, Tatiova, yeah. Yes, she's really strong. No matter what level you build her. I think Titch Willow is a fun one as well. Mm. I had a lot of fun with Titch Willow, and my win con was the Ghostly Flicker Paragon Drake combo. And then I also, Derek, did you know Capsize is a con? Is it really? Gross. Yeah, that was Gross. My, that was my payoff. I I, I either cast like big Eldrazi's, uh, like, or I and kill everybody, or I just capsize them to death. And capsize alone is an annoying card in a deck that plays like forty two lands. So, Titch Willow was fun. Also, Mike won a couple games with it. At, like, a, a regular table as well. And it was my popper deck. All it was was, like, 90% ramp, the win con, big creatures, and <laughs> capsize. <laughs> I'm pretty sure capsize is a common. Because it's one of those things where, like, it's so old printed that, like, it doesn't say, like, it doesn't show the color, you know? You have to, like, look up like what it says it is Does it say it? So there are so I'm looking through a bunch of common enchant uh, enchantments and there's a lot of them that just kind of oh yeah I think yeah, it's common. Yeah look it also says it right there that it's legal and proper. Proper. Yeah. Ancestral Mask is a common, too. It gets plus two, plus two for each enchantment on the battlefield. Yeah, Ancestral Armadillo, Mask is dumb, yeah. Armadillo Cloak is a common. Well, because there, there is a Bobbles deck for for this. But yeah, I mean, if you want to try, like, we can make a copy and try. Uh, I feel like it's going to be, like, a little difficult, but we can, I mean, we can, we can try. 
So yeah, I'm just looking up really cool like like in uh, uh like common auras. Now there's a lot of them, but we also remember we have to play all the the aura land ramp too because those technically trigger her as well. And I feel like that's like you're not gonna get hit with a cyclonic rift. Mm -hmm. So you said ancestral mask. Oh, that's a cool one too. Yeah. So I guess we could definitely call this one. Oh, is this um? Oh, he already has it. Yeah, he has that in there. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I saw, like, let's just look up Umbra. See what Umbras we could play. Wait, can't, hold on. I think I can do a thing where, hold oh, on. Did you make it? Oh, yeah, okay, it's a copy, yeah. Uh, can't... where's the oh, settings? Where you... Okay, no, it's set, it's set to Popper EDH. Is it? So look, at the, look at the top, yeah. Popper EDH. Oh, nice, okay. So it's probably only ever going to show us commons. Okay, good. Yeah, it's only showing us commons. Good. So let's go up to look at all of them. Uh, as long as another player controls Enchanted Can't I always Dog Umbra has a. Yeah, that's okay. Um, Eel Umbra gets plus three or plus four totem armor. I like the plus one, plus one first strike. And the plus three, plus three vigilance is cool. Uh, Snake Umbra is cool because it draws a card. I'm definitely looking at things that draw cards. Which one do you like, the Um, the Hyena Umbra, definitely like. I see he's got Mammoth Umbra. Uh, what about the reach? Dosed. Yeah, I think reach is definitely worth it. Uh, that other umbra, I don't really know so much about. Um, is rancor legal? Yeah, rancor. I think rancor is uh, is is in his list. Yeah. Is it? I don't know what that. I think rancor has a common printing. Uh, you'll have to check, I think. Let me check, check it because it should only show things that are legal. Because I think original Rancor was, um, no, weird. it's, it's in what... here. I don't know why it was showing a weird symbol for it, but it's in here. Yeah, no, actually, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a common in a few sets. No, it's it's and... I know it's legal, it was just showing a weird symbol for this. Is there no enchantresses that are common? No, they're all uncommon. You know, Tom, you know what? You know what's a funny common? Ashnod's altar. We're not playing that. <laughs> because we make one ones every time we play an aura. It actually might be worth it. Wait, that's a common? Yeah, it's it, its original printing was uh was a common. So no, you scroll down. No way. Oh well I guess oh. it's showing itself, so Yeah, I no, mean, it yeah, has to definitely. Be Yep, legal and popper. Gross. Because every time we play enchantment, we make a 1-1. One, one. He definitely has too many instants and not enough enchantments. Well, like I said, this is just everything he had. This wasn't like the list he was trying to build. Way, way too many instants. Yeah, so I we, like the gotta, hexproof. Gotta, so I like the hexproof indestructible stuff because that protects them. That's our way of making sure our commander doesn't die. Because again, we are a Voltron deck, so the one thing we don't want to have happen is our lose our commander. Right, but twenty one instances is too much. Well, yeah, yeah. Like I said, he just went through and searched a whole bunch of stuff. So if you want to start cutting that out, I'm going to start looking up uncool, uncommon, uh, cool commons. Shoot control being indestructible. You and target opponent each draw a card. Well, I don't like that one. Um, is does he have an angelic gift? Angelic gift? It's just probably alphabetically. Yep, yeah, I saw it. Never mind. It gives it plus, uh, enters as flying, you draw a card. Uh, conviction. That's the one that you return to your hand. This one is just gift of food. So plus yeah. two, plus two, and indestructible for one. I feel like that's not. So not only indestructible, like we want to find hexproof. So definitely want like the hexproof one. So I think it was like snakeskin veil, and um, I think was. How it, do we uh, feel Tamiya? about this? Plus two, plus two, and indestructible. Uh, two man. I think we can cut that one. I think the hexproof is going to be more important because I think a lot of our auras, especially the totem armor, protects but us. What about like a red board wipe? What do you mean a red board wipe? Or like they're like if we oh, need to like. Protect... Total, I mean, 
totem armor should help us with that, but if we don't have it, it... What about this one? Uh, Prevalent damage will be dealt to, cre to creatures this turn, creatures controlling hexproof in the end of the turn. Uh, too much mana. Three, I don't shuffle. like three mana. If an art... Wait, until end of turn, if it's an artifact creature... See, I like that one because it's hexproof and indestructible for one mana, and I don't really care about the plus two, plus two. It's the protective okay. side that I want. And then this is just... So that's plus hexproof. two, plus two hexproof. Do you like this one uh, or no? No, it's three mana, so I'm not a big, not as much of a fan of that one. Okay. Uh, what about this one? Tar creature gets plus one, plus one hexproof until end of turn. The ring tempts you. That seems good. Uh, hey, gift of... Like... Uh, Gift of food, target creature control gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. If the gift was promised, it also gains indestructible. So one mana indestructible. Like again, we have to. I think the big one we want, definitely want to watch out for because we also have an enchantment that can give us indestructible with uh the was a gift of the Oversoul, wherever it's called. Mm -hmm. So do we not like this one, the convoke one, or just it gets indestructible? Yeah, we don't think we need that. Uh, Convoke's actually that one's free potentially. Because the tokens we make, we can just tap those. Okay, so then maybe we keep that one. Uh, what about this one? This is all creatures you control get plus one, plus one, or they gain hexproof. I think that's good. Family reunion. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we could try uh, Gaia, Gaia's GIF is way better. Put a plus one counter target creature you control against reach, trample, hexproof, and indestructible. What about this? Nah, I, cut it. I, I think that's more than enough at this point. Like We only need like two or three of them. I don't think we're going to need like a bazillion of them. Uh, target artifact or creature gains hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. So the, that those ones I like the most. I think snakes. I think Tamio safekeeping and snake skin veil do the same thing. What about this? Target destroy target creature. Oh, it's untap target creature. It gets plus one plus zero and gains indestructible until end of turn. Or you can destroy a creature with power four or greater. Eh, nah. Uh, Mortals Resolve, plus one, plus one, and a triple. Yeah. Uh, plus one, plus one, Hexproof. I think that... Yeah. Yes or no? Uh... Yeah, because Snakeskin Veil just does that, except puts a counter on it. I just don't want too many of them. And I like Tamiyo Safekeeping, because it's... What about this uh, one? Hex plus one, plus one. Lifelink and Indestructible until end of turn. Eh. I think we have enough at this point. Tar Creature gains industry. Do we don't want this? Yeah. Because you just don't want to flood with too many of these and have a hand just full of, like, indestructible stuff. I still think we have a lot of them. I'd still probably try and cut them down. We don't need this. Oh, no, it's hexproof and, and indestructible. Okay, so we can cut this one. Uh, he, does he have ethereal armor in there? Because ethereal armor we can play, I think. I think I remember seeing it. Spirit Link's Skull Shield the Oversold. Oh, there's ethereal armor. Yep, I see it. He's got Sentinel Eyes, which is cool. I just threw uh, what I thought was relevant and was going to take stuff out. Yeah, gotcha. <sighs> So yeah, I'm, I'm looking for more. So look up, uh, so Tom, look up the cartouches because those are another bunch of like enchantment bobble things that we, we could look at. Hold, uh... hold, hold on one second. I'm still, we still got to cut down on. Uh... So I'd say Tano Safekeeping, Snakeskin Veil. Cut, I would probably call it Sheltering wor uh, Word. Shelter. I, I like the definitely the one drops the most. Yo, now he's throwing us weird symbols at me. I don't know what he means. You want to fight, bro? You want to fight? Come at me, bro. Okay. I think this amount is fine. Unless there's any more you see you want to cut. This is all creatures get hexproof. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. You can also just end up killing your opponents with all the one ones you make. Yeah. It's kind of like a mini anthem as well. So I, I think. I think that's good, yeah. Okay. 
So no other auras we could play because I know okay, he has so the land right the, in here. Which one did you say? Cartouche, right? Yeah, look, look. It's so it's like C A R T O U. Yeah, yeah, I found them. Let's just see if we could just search all of them. So let's see what the one green one does. First strike, make a one one, and then. Uh... Oh, it's a fight spell. Yeah. I guess plus one plus one. I mean, our, he, it could get pretty big with, like, the ethereal armor type effects. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the white one as much, though. Yeah, I don't like the white one. Uh, look up the Chosen by... Or choose Chosen by Heliod. I'm just looking up ones that, like, draw cards when they enter because we can't run Enchantresses. So ones that, like, cycle. That just is plus zero, plus two, but it mm -hmm. cycles a card. Um... <laughs> Is there no enchantment that lets us sack a creature and draw? Um, look, care much is fa uh, favor, and I don't, I don't think so. At least not in these colors. So just another ETB draws a card, but lets it tap for mana. Um, I think he had to test and train it. Check the first to test and train in. Is it a creature or is it a... It's an enchantment. Oh, wait, scroll up. I think. No, never mind. Never mind. Tessin. No, okay. Uh, training. Oops. Up, up, up. I see under champion. Oops. Isn't there ones that let you draw when you deal damage as well? Um, one of the Umbras did. A, a lot of the other Does ones he have all the hexproof ones, or they can't be blocked? Like it basically gives them flying. Does he have all those? Um, there is th those at common level. I don't know if we could have. The, the, we have the tramp one. What's I'm trying. To, I'm trying to remember the one that I'm talking about. Tom Shop Friday, possibly. Now that it's uh it's completed, there's Elephant Guide just gives it plus three plus three. Elephant Guide. Mm -hmm. There's Sacrifice a Creature, Regenerate Target Creature, as an enchantment. What is that called? It's not terrible. It's called Fanatic Devotion, especially because we keep making one ones with all these that we play. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to find stuff to do with them. Is Perilous Foyers a common? Perilous, how do you spell it? Perilous Foyers, something like that. Nope, not a common. Uh, there's Moldervine Cloak. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a one. It's Pentarch Ward. So it's P E N T. A R. Is he playing all the bauble creatures? He he already has it. Okay. Uh, is he playing all the like bauble creatures? Because I, I, isn't there some that's like uh, legal in the format, right? I don't know. Because I think they play baubles in. Is it the elf or like what? What are the what are some of the bauble creatures? I know you can't play the one that's simic, but. Oh, a uh, sigil of the Nyan gods. That's actually that was really cool. It gives a plus one plus one for each creature you control. Mhm. Mm That's a cool one. Whatever enchanted creatures put into the graveyard. There, Glistener, chain. Glistener Elf is legal. <laughs> you want, you want, to, you want to play like make uh, uh, unblockable. Uh, was it? Well, 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 no, well, well, yeah. What's the? Is it slippery? Sh should we play Glit or is this a joke? Is Glistener Elf a joke or? No, it's a joke. We're so we're gonna put this all in our commander. Yeah. So we're going for commander damage. Is I know I know that there's like a.
Oh, here's a cool one. Oh, yeah, he is legal in the format, the Bogle. But we just can't play but, him in the deck. Uh, Aura Gnarled. Aura? So it, it's G-N-A. It'll probably pop up there, that thing. It's a creature with power, less can't block it, but it gets plus one for each aura on the battlefield. So it just becomes a big creature that can't be blocked, potentially. Cool. How much mana do you think we can make in a turn? Good question. Dawn Glare inv Invoker. You want unblockable? There we go. Eight mana tap all creatures target player controls. <laughs> it's funny with Ashnods, I guess. Unblockable does sound good. When it comes up, uh, whenever it works. <sighs> uh, just about if you may search your life for an art card played here. Oh, a totem guide uh, heart beast. Best. That's a weird thing. Totem guide. And it's like, yeah, there it is. He has it. Okay. You put up to three enchant cards one of them into your hand. The rest of great. Really good. Shit. I don't like that one. Cartouche with your armor. Frog tongue. It comes to play, draw a card. Enchanted creature can block creatures with flying. I want to read the creatures. We don't have to run it. Nope, I don't like that. Okay, so that's a, a hex proof and it's a creature, so I think that's fine. Plus two, plus two in reach is probably fine. Okay, that's good. Plus one, plus one lifelink. Pilgrim's good. Okay, I think the Hydra's good. Plus one, plus two, though. I don't like this one. Just gives plus one, plus two. Yeah. Uh, and plus three, plus one as well. I don't like this one. No effect. Uh, plus two, plus two, and Vigilance is nice. Whenever this or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. That's fine. A constellation is fine, yeah. Um, Isn't there this more? Is, a, is there not more of these we can play at the common level? They're almost all on commons. That's stupid. Um, check out this one. It's called um, Cho Mamo's Blessing. <laughs> it's really just saying Yo Mama. It's like C H O dash. M O uh, M A M. Sorry, M A M. There it is. Oh, Shomanos. Okay. So instant speed. You come. You choose a color and it gets protection from that color. Wait, is that card I play that gives? Oh, yes. Well, it doesn't matter. This is the same effect as what I was gonna say. So funny, we could also play with a bunch of the um, the auras that we put on our opponent's creatures that make them lose abilities. You know, maybe Mammoth Umbra we do play just because it gives Vigilance. I don't think we put, included it. No, we have it. Okay. Is Classification a rare? I think so, yeah. So we can also run all the land enchants, so like Wild Growth. Um, I think Utopia, Utopia Sprawl also had a uh, uh, printing. No! Wait, what? Why is it coming up? Did it have a common printing? No, it definitely didn't. Maybe it just still pops up regardless. It just If you add it, it's probably just going to say that it's not legal. Okay. So, which card did you say? Oh, so stuff like like abundant growth, uh, abundant growth. Oh, 
Oh, what stuff is legal in this? Is uh, like market growth. is market festival? You check. Yep. That's a good this is one of the best ones. Uh and yeah, you said have... wild growth? Yeah, wild growth. And overabundance is the other one? I think uh over I mean overgrowth. No, overabundance. Right? Is it overgrowth? Or is it over yeah, abundance? So the, one that, the one that makes two green? No. Oh, oh, yeah. Is it overgrowth? Yeah. Is that one legal, though? Yeah, it looks Common. like it. Yeah. Okay, overgrowth. Then we could play... Um, New Horizons does the same exact thing. I also like the one that makes a clue. What's that one? Is that one common? The There's uh, one that you... makes a clue. Derek, read the commander. Unblockable sounds good. Derek, read the commander. What? Why? What? Why do we need to read it? Oh, it's like attached to a creature you control. We're but we're doing it because there's other things that relate to auras. It's not just our commander. Because like uh like the one creature you have, uh, aura spells cost one less to cast with transcendence uh, envoy. These are all auras, and that's why we're we're running them. And just stuff that deals with enchantments, it, like while land ramp is still kind of cool, when we have stuff like ancestral mask that cares about how many enchantments you have, or like uh, all that glitters. Mm -hmm. So it's good just keep them in theme, and also like it's probably a lot harder to deal with this kind of stuff um, in in a popper format. Hold on, I'm trying to look up the card I was thinking of because I know it's in my deck, so I just. A fertile ground is another one. Oh, fertile ground's a good one. Fertile. I think it's like. Oh, market festival. Yeah. And we also oh, run Utop Utopia sprawl, because I think it actually its original printing was common. In dissension, yep. Uh, I don't know why, but I thought that card was a uh, was uh, from the the Eldrazi set. Oh no, the card I'm talking about is an uncommon. Mm. I don't think it's been printing otherwise. Because I play this one and nope, can't can't play it. It's just when it enters, it works the same way as the New Horizons, but when it enters, you get a clue. So it's like kind of like a draw. Uh, Shine or whenever Shine comes to the Valley Search your Library for it. There's also a Shrine Steward, but it's five mana, but when it also, enters about... Also, Sol, Sol Ring is legal, right? I don't think so. I, I thought it's always been uncommon. Is it? Is it not? Oh, I'm thinking of Arcane Signet. But do we even want Arcane Signet? Or Decanter? I think Thought Vessel is legal as well, because its first printing was... Do we want Thought Vessel, Decanter, or Arcane Signet? I don't know if we ever actually have um, enough cards to to make it work. Uh, Is there maybe. not any common cards that let us like either draw based on the amount of damage done or like no no like is there nothing like what's that three mana card that just like uh Like, draw when we deal damage. Well, we have the one Snake Umbra that does that. Okay, there is a weird one called Gnarl Gnarlback Rhino, that whenever you cast a spell that targets it, draw a card. So it's pseudo is a draw, an enchantress, as long as you would target it. All right. 
I'm looking at like stuff like heroic to see if any of that that we can run. We could run an Audacity, but it's, uh, whenever it's put in a graveyard from the battlefield draw card, it's okay. Yeah, I'm Ancestral not, Mag. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, Call to Surf is kind of nice, just because it gives it flying, and, and, it, and it becomes the Angel, but... We could, I mean... Oh no, this isn't, never mind. Say it again, Call to what? Call uh, to call, Surf. Uh, call to Surf. It just gives it plus one, plus two, and flying, and becomes an angel. Just a little buff, and... Um, sheltered by, uh, bows. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. It just cycles itself. Each enchanted creature gets plus one, plus three. What is it called? So it's, um, sheltering... And then B O U. Yeah, it. there it is. He already has it. Okay. You got that one. I saw that one. Hunter's Insight. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Flaming Fist. Commander creatures you, uh, you, you own have. Whenever this creature attacks, it gains double strike until the end of the turn. What is it called? It's called Flaming Fist. It's one of the backgrounds. It's the legendary enchantment, but it, they made common ones. Cool. So just that's a it's an, a double strike enchantment for our commander. I'm trying to see if there's anything like Hunter's Insight that's a common no there there isn't you're not gonna find you're not gonna find big even, draw in a common like that even even if it's a lot of mana like the best we're gonna get is like either like a draw cycle like we play this card it draws a card or like the rhino is probably all right Yeah, no. Because there's like if a chanted creature is put into any graveyard, draw two cards or stuff like that. So there's also the enchantments like Faith Fetters and stuff that like when you enchant stuff, that makes it so they can't uh, block and stuff. But I think if we're going like some protection on blockable flying, but like. Like, um. Detainment spell, enchant creature, and can't creatures act abilities can't be. Uh... Actually, no, I don't like that one. Like, but faith's fetters. Um... I got faith's fetters. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's this one? That's just a flash enchantment. That's enchant land. I don't care about that enchant. There's the market pacifism festival. effects. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I, pacifism just is on its own. That's an aura. Yeah, but there's definitely they've definitely printed better ones. I mean, pacifism is just a, is like oh, yeah, there's a lot of ones that say like creatures' abilities can't be like activated because that's the one thing about a lot of the other ones that so just attack or block. Um, where's that one I just saw? Um, okay, there's, there's this one, Bonds of Faith. Oh, because that's if we use that on our commander, because it is a human, we actually get huh. plus two, plus two. Uh, reprobation. Because it makes the creature a zero one and loses all abilities. Okay. Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, because there's a lot of them. There's...
Ar I can't believe Armadillo Cloak was an uncommon. Oh, uh, what what that's just I know it's uh we have those effects too, but we're also just like with like a banishing ring, like a oblivion ring and banishing light. Which of those can we play? Can we play any of them? I don't think we have a single one that we can play. I think they're all uncommon. Um, Maybe oblivion ring. Yes, but I don't think banishing light. No, I don't think we do that one now. And I think Ken. Oh no no no! Oh, it did have a common. Bloomboro. Nice. Thanks, Bloomboro. Kenrith transformation is. is Uncommon. Yeah. yeah. This one's kind of cool. It's they can't attack or block, and then eventually we can just exile it for three. Okay, yeah, it's not bad. Cooped up. If this is a real card, oh, it is. Okay, okay there's something like artifact creature or planeswalker. Enchanted permanent can't attack, block, or activate its abilities. Can't be activated. Planar disruption? Is this real? What about stuff that makes us the monarch? Yes. Because uh, uh, enchant there, artifact creature planeswalker can't attack, block, or uh, activate its abilities. Seems pretty good. Uh, so which ones are you thinking? So, like there's there's staunch throne guard, which is the uncommon. Staunch. I mean, which is like uncommon. It's an artifact. Staunch. Uh, staunch you said staunch. It's it's st uh, it's s staunch. s t a o uh, s s sorry s t a u. S t a u. Yo, what's going on, Evie Catcher? Hello, Evie. Staunch. Sorry, we didn't. Uh, sorry, one? we didn't notice you there for a second. We're looking at uh, protect uh, throne guard. Staunch throne guard. Yeah. And then the other one is Palace Sentinels. Uh, uh, Entourage of Trest. Oh, sorry, it's uh, where is where is he? I got it's it. E okay. There's also nothing um... much. I'm trying to deck build with three brain cells. <laughs> nice. Lapse of, all... lapse of certainty. Oh, the he white, has that. The white, the white bad spell. No. <laughs> what are you uh, what are you trying to build right now, Evie? This is a uh, a popper commander. Hello. Oh, yeah. uh, What's it... going on? A, a hello? Hello. We're doing a, a popper commander. And then we earlier, you guys are kind of coming to the end of the stream. Earlier, we built uh, this commander. M Maha Blast. <laughs> yes. You get a 1-1. One, one. Well, you get an X-1. You get an so X-1. So what, what kind of lands can we put? Our temples aren't even commons, right? No, you they're can't rares. play temples. You can only play, like, guild gates, like... Uh, so we can play the the tap. So like uh, currently like trying to make the edits. Oh, to my Edgar Markov, yeah. Edgar Markov. Okay, let me tell you something. So like, Derek and I noticed this because we tried to build the budget vampire deck, and even that one has too many vampires. And that you was a hundred. Tribe. <laughs> Why would you? What, what did you build a uh, Turgrid? Or did you build uh, stacks? Because then that yes, that is a war crime. <laughs> yes. Uh, can we even play Command Tower? Is it a common? Oh, it is. Okay. Um, so there's also all the cycling lands we could technically play if you really want to. Government. It takes, it taxes everything. So yes, yeah, stacks. Yeah. Is it Grand yeah. Arbiter? 
There's a blue boo. light. Yes, boo. every group of boo this person. <laughs> 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 no, that's like a so a little topical joke. So I made a, uh, a mono black enchantment deck that just like hates everything that anybody tries to do. Like it punishes you for doing it. Mm -hmm. And that I guess that was my government deck because mm -hmm. it wasn't that you're paying taxes. It just punishes you for trying to exist. Yeah, it, it, a lot it played <laughs> like. Um... That one card, Painful Quandary, that whenever anybody casts a spell, you either discard a card or take five life. Like, stuff like that. No mercy uh, if you try to hit him, your creatures so die. Let's read my favorite one. It's like, it's a four-man enchantment. Whenever a, a creature enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless any player could pay zero mana and skip their next turn to make it go away. Yeah. Oh, so America. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's not, not Arbiter. Arbiter. Who is it, then? Oh wait, if he's playing the Sun Drinker, that makes it it's basically a winter orb on a creature. Uh, uh, oh one of the mana rocks we could play a Slesnia Clue Stone. We get draw But do we even and, uh, want that or do we just want the rain? It's just a, it's just because we could draw a card. Same thing as Slesnia's Locket. We just use them to, to cycle the draw cards. Um so we could run stuff like um so there's like all the cycling there's some of the cycling lands we could play i mean so yeah the lockets aren't great but like it could always just be a draw card if we really need oh it. drawn in linval yeah that makes sense uh okay yeah it's annoying <laughs> Yeah, we still get many boos. Boo this person. Boo. Mm -hmm. So, like, like, what do you think about stuff like Tranquil Thicket? Okay. Yep. Just because it's, it's cycle, we get the draw card. Yeah. There's a bunch of those cards that, like, we could template, uh, we could run. Or we do stuff like Arctic Tree Line, which is, like, the, um, just, like, the tapped, like, tool lands. Like, do we want to run as many of those as we can? Do we not want to run them? Like, what probably do you think? play like like a good amount, like not too many, but you know. And again, because it's popper, I think running like the uh, Slesnia Sanctuary, which is the bounce land. But it ain't playing it too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you said yeah, I like how Marty's giving a frown face about like. If he's talking about frown face about playing uh, stacks, when you literally say he's like, I want to build a stack deck. <laughs> and then I ridiculed him mercilessly for, for being an unfun Yeah, person. next you're going to say you're going to play group hug, and then we're going to kick you out of all deck. the... Oh my god. He, he, he bought the pre-con. It's actually a really weird deck. It's the Bloomboro group hug, but mm -hmm. it's like kind of group hug, but not really, because it, it, one of the cards was like any number of... You could have any number of target players draw a card. Uh, for everyone that does, you put a plus one counter on it. Then it's like creatures you play enter the battlefield with that many extra one, uh, plus one counters on them. You're like, okay, so now mm -hmm. you're putting seven sevens into play that were like three mana. Mm -hmm. What's the bounce land called? Uh, it's a Slesnia, uh, not Guildgate, Sanctuary. Ooh, this is a good song. Guess we can play the guild gate. Yeah, why not? I know a lot of people like the the game land. What's the game land? Those were like the best lands in Popper for what? a while until the artifact lands got printed. The ones that enter tapping you gain a life. Yeah. Uh, pff, uh, and, and get it, the artifact land as well because the indestructible one is really strong. Is it? Is it? Uh, Popper. Yeah, they're all Popper legal. The artifact lands, they broke Popper. They ba they oh. ended up banning three Derek, they the the ones that went into modern, the dual lands that are artifacts, those are common. So they so broke Popper, they had to, they had to ban three three artifact uh they finally banned a tog. Like uh, it, yeah. so it's 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 uh blossoming sands. Oh the Atog. A tog, a tog, a tog, a tog. Well, they're finally like, you know what? Instead of like banning the lands, let's just ban the problem. Uh, cause, cause you want to know it's a really disgusting play they do with the lands. They play that red spell. I think it's red that destroys a land, 
and then that player gets to search their library for another land and you draw a card. So they target their own land. It doesn't get destroyed. They get to put a land into play and draw a card. Okay. Poor Tog. Well, yeah, it only got banned in Popper, not Popper Commander. But what's the artifact land? Um, it's Thorn Glint Bridge. Uh, Path of Ancestry, I think, is technically a common, isn't it? Yes. Might as well play it. We can also play Broker's Hideout. It's a fetch land that gains us a life, and he just grabs whatever, either one I we feel need. Like, yeah, I feel like this, for this format is good with Evolving Wilds and stuff like that as well. And Aeromorphic Expanse. Yeah. Oh, um, Botanical Plaza, I think, is a, com is a common. It's the one that's, like, four mana sack to draw a card, but... Hey, it's, it's something. Tell myself a lie, but too long. Mm hmm This is real -ish. Okay. Um... Any other utility lands? Uh... I just don't want to put too many tap lands in. Yeah, like, we can just do the rest. Oh, we're playing way too many enchantments. Well, yeah, well, we put, we, like, we, there's a, we put a lot in. Oh, and there's also a lot that we, we even looked through what was already there to, like, kind of go through it. And we're, yeah. gonna play, and we're gonna play Guy's Cradle. Yeah. That's a common, right? Okay. Alright, so there's no MDFCs we can play, right? I think Turn Timber Symbiosis is a. Turn Wait, Timber is a myth. Is, is that new? No, it's not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. I was thinking of the. Uh, other the guy that's a ramp creature. Anything is a common if you put your mind. <laughs> yeah, you know, Tom, we should have played blue because then we could have played Ristic Study because Ristic Study is technically a common. Cap size as well is also a common. See, that's a fun one. Uh, Lotus Petal is a common. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. That new MDFC that like goes on a creature, right? The enchantment one is not a common, right? That is a green white land. Wait, what one? It's the new MD it's the MDFC from Modern Horizons, that's the green white land. That it's an enchantment. That's yeah, not I a common, it's a, right? It's a, no, it's not uncommon. Okay. None of the MDFCs I think printed that were two colors were uh, commons. They're all uncommon. Okay, so actually ha we're, we are split white and green exactly. So we go equal split. At least for right now because we haven't cut anything out yet. Mm -hmm. but we should put our lands up and we can adjust accordingly afterwards. All right, so that's 36. Now we got to cut 29 cards. Jesus Christ. That's all right. We have... We do have a decent amount of creatures. Um, we cut out the snake thing. Which one? This? But yeah, we don't need that. Even that was though like, it gives sex proof? Like... Yeah. Okay. It's four mana to do it. Okay. Anything else? Um, I I think we get rid of Hopeful Eidolon. I like the top row could stay. Even though it's, it's four even mana, though it's... it's... It's right. four mana to give yeah. it a lifelink. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Uh, that Slayer might be good. Uh, yeah, I like some recursion. The Dryad's all right. Do you want to cut it Actually, or not? Uh, I don't like the dry. We got the dryads. I don't think I, I want like permanent buffs. 
and my one thing about a lot of the bestow costs is that they're very overpriced for what they do. Like, five mana for plus two, plus two of Vigilance. There's like a two mana spell that gives Flying Vigilance and First Strike. You're like, they're, they're so expensive because if you destroy the creature that they're targeting, you still get the creature regardless. And that's kind of a trade off. How do you feel uh, about this one? Enter, uh... Venture's pretty good when you have a lot of one ones. Okay, that one I le I like that one. I like all of those too. We gotta cut some enchantments. Uh, we can get the rune mark. I think our big so we have actually a lot of tiers. I think we're gonna look for like the big ones, like glitters, ancestral mask, and um, ethereal armor. Wait, scroll back up. Sorry, I want to keep looking. Um, what's that one? Uh, all right, Abigail. Um, alibi. The al alibi is kind of cool because it gives them hexproof when it enters, so it's like a protection and an and an aura. So I like that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, there's uh. uh Hesha's favor gets flying first strike and vigilance. I, I like all those. Mansion, I like all the, the these are all good. I'll serve. I like the cartouche. I like these. Um, I think we got due diligence. I think it's fine. I think we have other stuff. I'm going to trust fine. you on this because this is a an archetype you've played. I've, I've um, actually never done Aura Voltron. I've played Enchantress and I've done Voltron with equipment, but I've never done... This is a U deck for sure. Yeah. Uh, we, I think we got the skill. The I know it gives Trample, but Rancor also gives Trample. And I think it just looks a little, a little just over over uh, costed. Faith's Feathers I like, so I keep going. We did Devotion, the Furl Ground, the Fist of the Ironwood. Um, maybe, I think we keep Fist of the Ironwood. I like that. It's a much cheaper trample enabler. We have Scroll mm -hmm. Down. We could probably cut life, just Lifelink. Uh, cut, cut the other one on the left side, too, the Holy, holy Strength. It's just stuff, uh, straight stats. I, I like stuff and stats. Moldervine Cloak is cool. I mean, because I like that. Uh, Marked by Honor. Let me read that. Vigilance. Uh, I think it's a little overcosted. We could cut mark, Marked by Honor. Do we have enough Vigilance, though? I think we'll, we don't need a ton of it. I just don't want okay. too much of it, especially a lot of four drops. That, that does evil a turn. I like I, I know like from playing Voltron decks like Vigilance is the one thing that will keep you alive in games you know yeah but yeah because we have Mam Mammoth Umbra also does it we have the big enchantment that gives a whole bunch we have mm -hmm. the mana ramp uh, Oaken form maybe we cut Oaken form like plus three plus three is nice but I think we're again we're just looking for the cycle cards to draw to Vigilance find Vigilance is one. good yes I mean we're still gonna yeah. have some of it. Like, Moldervine Cloak's cool because we can get it back, so I like that. In case we it, things go terrible. I like Rancor gives Trample. We could scroll down. We have our, Those are good. Uh, scroll down. Plus one, plus one. Sentinel Eyes I like since it's one mana. We keep that one. Training we keep. We keep. Shieldy Oversoul also. I think it, it's flying and indestructible. Those are good. Keep going. Uh, we could probably cut Siegecraft. I'm, I'm looking to cut like those things out, like just the big buffers. Well, like, not even big buffers, because we're, we're looking for like the big, big ones. And, or the Totemar. So Snake Umber draws a card. We could probably cut Spirit Link. No, no, no. So the cool thing about Spirit Link I, is... I know it's... how that works. Yeah. But we have another thing that does that with... Uh, I think Armadillo Cloak does that. Or is Armadillo No, Cloak Armadillo Cloak is Life Link. I just don't think we need it. Like it's Spirit Links is better in a in, in a deck that you play and you get to draw like five cards. Oh no! Whenever a, a creature deals damage, you gain that much life. Yeah. But I guess I guess it does work. It does. I just don't like it in a deck that's not cycling as well with Spirit Links as it does with other cards. So, 
I mean, I guess we could keep it, but like Spirit Links is a good enchantress deck because you play one well, mana and you like draw more cards. I know the one. This... I know the one thing that keeps a Voltron Commander alive is having multiple, like making sure that you get Vigilance as quickly as possible and like a form of Life Link. So like if we're playing something that gives Life Link is on top of like a card like this or the other one, but if you think like one of them is good enough for that, I mean, that's fine. Because the one problem with a Voltron deck is if you don't get your Vigilance, you're just gonna get overrun. And, like, mm. they're just going to triple team you, and he dies. So, like like I said, the way to circumvent that, at least what I do with Shram, is I get lifelink, I get vigilance as quickly as possible. Just remember, in a popper level, popper level, though, things right. are a lot less scary. Yes, but you they're still red. Like, there's still a lot of... Yeah, uh, I get it. Because, remember, you're supposed to play popper at a lower uh, life total. You're supposed to play popper at, like, 25 or something. So like in a it, four way in a four way popper. Or? Yeah, yeah. I I I I think there's different rules for popper commander that we yeah. don't use. Uh, but uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's thirty life. Yeah. Yeah, hundred cards, thirty life, and it's six, only sixteen commander damage. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So, but we don't. We've never like I've never played a popper game with that. They always play forty. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to keep Spirit Links, I just think it's not as good in a in this kind of deck. I, I yeah, it's just I don't know. It depends on how big the commander's going to get. I don't know. I mean, we have because, like I said, the one four big buff cards that if we hit any of them, they're going to be huge. The one thing that kills me when I'm playing Shram is just getting overrun. Like if I'm if I'm not gaining the damage back that I'm dealing, then like yeah, but, they just kill me in a turn. Because like Shram's three not players, a commander. No, I know, but what, real cards. but but what I'm saying is like the life link of aspect of the make. It just depends on how big this commander is going to get. And we do have the all the critters. We do have the ancestral mask. We we, we have the sigil. Yeah, so like we have all that glitters. I I think the life this, gain is. And I think whole, we and we have another source of life gain besides spirit link. Yeah, the ar I think the armadillo cloak counts the same, and then we also does, have yeah. the. Isn't there one of the ones that the theory armor it also makes it get huge? Mm -hmm. Do we have it's another form of, or was this a rata to save lifelink, or does it still work the same way? No, I think it still works the same way. Okay, because you have both of them at, at double stacks. Yeah. I mean, we, we we don't have to cut it. I just like a little fine. bit more out of it, because at least I like I like totem armor because that's protection. Well, we, you just have to think of the fact that because we are popper, like the more that he could stabilize his own life and not get overrun mm. by everybody, because you like the format can be aggressive still. Like there's plenty yeah. of aggressive green red decks that can just kill you. Let me go down and read that triclope the triclopian eye, or the site. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of just meh on that one. That's kind of cool, I guess. It's just weird that it's like flash to give it to because it untaps the creature. So it's like gives it like yeah, I guess I guess it's kind of cool. It's a cool combat trick. Yeah, I mean, we just yeah we have to see. And it's just another and it's another vigilance giver. Yeah, I think we could cut more of these. Yeah, I don't think we need so many of these. Maybe. Like, oh. Do you, I would keep. I, I would honestly cut this down to like maybe like the three or four best ones. Do you still like this one or? Uh, no, I think maybe the ones that do double duty, ones that like hexproof and indestructible. Well, the then that's that we... a, that's all we're left with now. So I'm pretty sure. Hexproof, indestructible, just hexproof. The counter on it is nifty though. Um, hexproof, I definitely like more than indestructible. If I have to pick them, because. We, Paired with totem armor and uh, and some of the protection, um, so like Gaia's gift definitely. I think this one comes out then because it's only hexproof. Yeah, yeah. So keep that one. The Gaia's will. The the stag one. The uh, Karamuch's blessing. And Lauren's escape. Because it also scries. So then this comes out. Yeah, we don't need the guile. Yeah, it's Marty's awesome. first time. Yeah, that that goes.
Maybe family reunion stage just because it could give the buff to every to, to the board for a I moment. Agree. But <laughs> also uh, but, the ring tempting you is kinda cool. Like what that is, is something you could put in your commander. So Oh yeah, because it only isn't it the unblockable, right? The first one is uh can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. Oh, so that's even better. I think that's good. All right, so then we I think because it can't then, then then your commander's safe to just swing. I think that's great. Uh, I, I think the rest of them are good. Maybe just keep it that that then. I don't yeah, because this is kind of like a. So yeah, Bombadil song and family reunion have alternate uh, uses. So then we have five and then two alternate use cards. I feel like six or seven save you is is kind of fine. Mm -hmm. Uh. Because he doesn't get to play any of the permanent stuff. Because normally you wouldn't play any of this. The only one no. you would play is Teferi's Protection, and then you would play Sterling Grove. You'd play uh, or, the I would even the think Parametra's or no, a Chrome as well. But then I don't think you would because your creature probably has almost all no, those abilities. No, anyway. you wouldn't play that. No, I would prefer to play like a True Conviction in this kind of deck over that, mm. or like a. Well, we, we have a pseudo one for our commander, or. There's, yeah, there's auras that give double strike, but, like, I would prefer to play the privileged position cards, because, like, you could form a lock with the Sterling Grove privileged position, and what's the other one I'm forgetting? The two-mana one? I'm not sure. It was the expensive one for a while. The really expensive one. Two-mana, all your enchantments have Shroud. For all of them? Yeah! Oh, 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 sorry. I thought you were talking about instant or sorcery. No. Um, I actually kind of want to cut. I don't think you need these. I think I'd cut all. I think I'd cut these. Because remember, look how many ramp we put in via our, um, yeah, yeah, our enchantment. Via the other thing. So I think the nature's lore is still kind of cool because we actually do have. Wait, do we? One. We have one. Arctic tree line. And then we have that as well. Uh,. I feel like having this is still like we should count how much ramp we have. So we got four. Yeah. And remember, our our curve is very low. Wait, is blighted woodland common? No, uncommon. Damn. Uh, okay, so let's count. So how much was down there? Four, right? So four, yeah. five. So four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. 10 This is fixing not a ramp. Yeah. Uh I think 12 is fine. 12 is fine. All right. Uh, but also, let's look at our curve. Oh, the question it's is, do we even need low. that much? It's stupid. Like, like, we don't even go above five. I honestly think that we could actually even cut like a two land. more of the ramp and a land, uh, uh, like a ramp and a land. What is the color we... we went the most down on? Nope, we're still <laughs> wow, <Not> even <laughs> wow, it's still one of what? What are the fucking odds of that? <laughs> so you're thinking we cut. I, I guess it's the... Well, here's the the thing is, do we like the two-mana ones more? No, we should just cut the artifacts. What are we... No, well, actually, they, they, they do draw. draw. That is, like, kind of more important. Because when we curve out at five, we don't need a lot of mana. If we draw those late game, they act like Mind Stones, where, like, I'll just pop this off. I think, actually, I'd rather cut the Nature's Lore and Rampant Growth. These Cultivate Kodama keeps... It gets two of each, so it helps us fix better. Mm -hmm. And, like, if we play those th the three-drop Cultivate... Whatever mm -hmm. that means next turn, we have our fifth land, which literally, that's how our top of our entire deck. So that means everything's now available. Okay, so now so, we actually split the... Do we want to cut a land? We're so low curved? Yeah, I think we could. Maybe a forest? Yeah, because I think we have one more planes now. Well, or, or maybe, we, maybe we should wait until we're... Yeah, let's double check we still need one. eight more to cut. Right. Uh, is this a meme? No, every time we play an aura, we're going to get a 1-1 creature and we can sack it for mana to play stuff. 
I guess, yeah. But I guess that, like if, if we run out of mana. What, how do we feel about this? Which one? Creatures with power less than gnarls can't be blocked. Oh, it just generically. Oh, it. Oh, okay. No, that is. Good. Yeah, it just gets okay. bigger and bigger, and okay. it becomes like a, a threat. <sighs> okay. So, how often do you think our auras are going to hit the graveyard? A good amount, I guess. So the bestow creatures are my least favorite right now. So uh, you still don't like this? Yeah, yeah, because th- four mana get plus two, plus two in reach. We could do that with like two mana. I do feel like this one. The mentor one is cool. I like and, the mentor and the, one. And the hydra is also like a really good late game sink. Uh, yeah, I feel like the those two are like, the, yeah, are worth it. This is also kind of like ramp. Yeah, and Yevamaya Enchantress also gets really big. Yeah, which I think a big we creature need... is better in Popper. So yeah, we, as we we've been saying in in regular Commander, like that kind of a like just having a big creature, unless your Commander gives unblockable, then like it's not it's not as good as it used to be. Uh, we still have forty three enchantments. Uh, we could probably still cut some more of those then. I think Wait, that's a good amount. Is Dryad's Revival common? No, I think it's an uncommon. The one the flashbacks? Yes. No, yeah, it's an uncommon. I remember the little. Derek, is the green white thing that's a. Uh, uh, whenever a creature enchantment enters, you draw, is that a common? Or is that an uncommon? No, no it's uncommon. Damn. Draw f- good draw effects start in like uncommon when it's not blue. Do we feel like we're going to even be able to use this? Uh, if we have the mana to just go for it, it just basically is like, Right, hey, but we have nothing that's like making treasures, getting us lands. Like, we're, we have nothing that's like a constant source of ramp. Like, we have like 10 sources of even, ramp. No, it's... it's yeah, yeah, but 10 sources of ramp that are all one source of ramp. Actually, the only ones that make an extra market festival and over the overgrowth but that's it like all the sources no. of ramp that we have aren't aren't like generating more no yeah they are they're making more than like they're getting an additional mana no but it's only one is what i'm saying so even yeah. all that that we play like all 10 like it, it is only barely enough to activate this on like turn six in a popper format but right but what i'm saying is like like we don't have a, we don't have any other way to basically that basically says unblockable and that could just be the win the game if it's eight mana wins the game i'll do eight mana wins the game or takes a player out because okay. like we don't have any way unblockable outside of like flying is our only evasion and the one card the like two cards that get protection or we make one creature unblockable i think it's it's worth it that okay. will just like that's like our big we play Razaketh, then we win the game type card effect. What what else do we cut then? Like I said, I think it's still going to go more into the enchantment side because we're like down to like fifteen creatures, but it's still forty three enchantments. Uh, maybe we could cut cut abundant growth because I mean it's a draw, but it doesn't actually it just fixes colors, it doesn't ramp, and maybe that's just not worth it. Okay. Flying fresh I give a vanishing light like call to serve. Call to serve isn't needed. I just do like the flying though. Yeah, how much other things do we have that get flying? There's this? Yeah. Flying first strike vigilance. The flying angelic, that's yeah. two. Can't believe flaming fist is an uncommon. Shield the over soul. Three. I think I think we can cut it. Three is good. All right. Which card? Uh, it was the um call to serve.
Because I like the favor because it's like all of them put together. The flying first strike vigilance. Mm -hmm. um, I like to draw a card. We also have to remember that like some of our enchantments are also playing like ramp and spell effects with like cooped up and stuff like that. Yes. Do we need the ward on the other card, the plus three plus three in ward? If and if we're just playing a bunch of like can't be counter, I like, can't target stuff anyway. How many of those do we have? We have what seven of them plus like three cards that give protection from colors at like instant speed. We have one that gives hexproof enchantment. We have the blessing that's right on the that same row, and then seven cards. So the ward isn't super relevant. And again, I'm not super worried about the pluses they're giving as much as like the cards that cycle, the cards that give like alphabet soup, and then finding our our big cards that are like, hey, plus for each enchantment you have type effects. Mm -hmm. And plus every totem armor also gives it protection from being destroyed. Yep. I think I like all this. Yeah. The favor is maybe my least favorite Karametras, because while it is a draw card, it does just turn it into a mana rock, and so it's just two mana draw card, and I think we could do better. How many uh, enchantments do we have that messes with our opponents? With, like, planar disruption, because we have Banishing Light, Oblivion Ring... We have this. Player disruption, rep reprobation. There's another one up top we had. I think it's just uh, I think it's just four. Cooped up. There's five. And Faith's Feather is a six. So we have six Removal. ones that mess with our opponents. Maybe we could go down one. I like Oblivion Ring and Banishing Light because it hits anything. Because, like, we don't need to go super removal, because, again, we're just playing the big boy swinging in. This one hits a Planeswalker, though. Or an artifact, which could be relevant. Or you know, also, the Moldervine Cloak, the Dredge one, maybe I don't care about that as much. I mean, it's plus three, plus three in Dredge, but I guess I don't really care. Like, if we're playing it smart in the way if we built we, it, if we don't... If we don't have Enchantresses, then the only thing that's paying off is our commander, and a lot of the time, the creatures are just going to die. Mm. Maybe get rid of the Faith's Fetters, maybe. Is that, like, the worst one? Yeah. It's just the most expensive. It's four mana. I don't know if I want to spend four mana just, just for that. Oh, but it does hit anything. Oh, it is. Hmm. So maybe it's one of the ones that doesn't hit creatures. Or you mean one that only hits creatures? Yeah. This one's definitely the worst one, because it only hits creatures. All right. The and even hits... though you can exile it, it's it's still the worst for sure. Yeah. So anything else? Oh, wait, actually, this one is worse. Yeah. Actually, this one was worse than the other one we had. I think we cut both of them. We'll keep it down to only four. We're not playing the removal strategy, really. Mm -hmm. So we just have, like, the big issues we have to remove. Yeah, now we have three that... Oh, oh we're good. Perfect. And we have the three that... 20, is permanent. $27. Let's oh, go. Oh, we didn't cut a land either, but I guess it's fine. I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think the yeah, sand is fine. We got we got a, the big we got a buffs we got two really good enchantress effects. 